This video will show how to reset the Ethernet interface of your Stormicronics printer. This is normally necessary if the printer has a static IP address, which means the IP address won't change, while dynamic means the IP address will change if and when the printer is turned off and on and or the router that it's connected to is turned off and on. For this video, we're showing the TSP-103 LAN, but the procedure will also work on the TSP-100 LAN. First, make sure the printer is turned off. Turn the printer upside down and remove the panel on the bottom with a small Phillips head screwdriver and leave the panel off. This will reveal four switches. Turn off switch number four. Next, turn the printer back on and wait about 15 seconds or until the printer makes an initialization noise. Finally, turn the printer off and turn the dip switch number four back on. Then put the panel back on and secure it with the screw you removed. The printer is now reset. Congratulations, the TSP-100 LAN or TSP-103 LAN is now reset. Now let's reset the TSP-103W. Let's start by turning the printer off. While holding the RST button on the back with a paper clip, turn the printer back on and hold until you hear the printer making an initialization sound twice and then let go of the button. Make sure you don't let go until it makes the noise twice. This is very important. Congratulations, the TSP-103W is now reset. Now let's reset the models using the IFBD-HE07-08 interface. This is any model other than the TSP-100 series. Make sure the printer is turned on. Next, locate the small hole on the back that says SW next to the Ethernet port. Now, take a paper clip and push this button until you feel the button push. Hold until the lights on the Ethernet port blink together and then let go. Check and make sure both lights are solid. Next, push the button once and then let go and the lights should turn off. Wait about 15 seconds for the printer to reset. While waiting, the printer will make an initialization noise and the power and error light on the front will blink. When you see a solid green light on the front and no error light, the printer has a new IP address from the router and you're done. Congratulations! The IFBD-HE07-08 interface is now reset. Finally, let's reset the Ethernet interface on the IFBD-H101X-02X intelligent interface. Make sure the printer is turned on. Next, locate the small hole that says SW next to the Ethernet port. Now take a paper clip and push this button until you feel the button push. Make sure you hold until the light on the Ethernet port starts to blink red and then let go. Next, push the button once and then let go and the light will turn off. Wait about 15 seconds for the printer to reset. While waiting, the printer will make an initialization noise and the power and error light on the front will blink. Congratulations, the IFBD-H101X-02X slash is now reset. For additional information or support, please visit the website in the description below or contact our technical support team. 
contact information is also located in the description below. Or as always, you can email us at http colon forward slash forward slash www.starmicronics.com slash supports slash technical support dot ASPX or call 800-782-7636 option 3. The link below is for the online manual and Ethernet reset FAQ. Have a great day.